blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship to this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. The Church celebrates today the memorial of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo SVD, Shrine Rector. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to our celebration on this day in which we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, who was established in the 16th century, 1570s by Pope Pius V as a thanksgiving to the Blessed Mother and to God for the uh, battle at Lepanto, the success of uh, the troops of uh, the Pope of uh, preventing the incursion of an occupying force. We continue also to ask the Blessed Mother for the peace in our world and so to celebrate worthily this Eucharist we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Have mercy on us, O Lord and against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. For, for we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, realize that it is those who have faith 
who are children of Abraham. Scripture which saw in advance that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, foretold the good news to Abraham, saying, Through you shall all the nations be blessed. Consequently, those who have faith are blessed along with Abraham who had faith. For all who depend on works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not persevere in doing all the things written in the book of the law, and that no one is justified before God by the law is clear. For the one who is righteous by faith will live. But the law does not depend on faith. Rather, the one who does these things will live by them. Christ ransomed us the course of the law by becoming the course for us. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might be extended to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, accuracy all their delights. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. Majesty and glory are His work, and His justice endures forever. He has won renown for His wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. He has given the food to those who fear Him. He will forever be mindful of His covenant. He has made known to His people the power of His works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others to test him asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and the house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against itself, how it will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. 
When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of some, someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest, but finding none, it says, I shall return to my house from which I came. But upon returning, it finds its it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed day to all of you, uh, dear friends, and also those fellow worshipers in other parts of the world. We continue to uh, meditate on this uh, first reading taken from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. And here emerges, or the central figure that is subject of Paul's meditation, is that of Abraham. We know very well the uh, importance of Abraham in the Old Testament as considered or chosen by God. And he received that promise to be the father of many nations, of many peoples. But in the New Testament, Paul takes him again as a figure not on that merit of being the father with that promise of being the father of many nations but reinterpreting it as Abraham as the icon, the model of a perfect believer. And with this we see how uh, Paul would uh, use the faith of Abraham, the, his example of faith to God, as the very model for all believers. And it becomes now the model of pure faith that does not lean on works of the law in order to claim one's salvation. But as Paul would say, it is that, that salvation is a gift from God. And it is a, an opening of oneself to God. In this way, Abraham becomes a sign of salvation not only for the Jews but now for everyone who has faith. And this becomes a, uh, a sign of hope also for everyone because one does not need to become a Jew anymore to participate in the promise of life, everlasting life promised by God and achieved by the Lord Jesus, but rather what equalizes us, what opens for everyone the opportunity to acquire salvation is now open to everyone, and that is faith, our key to God's heart a new way of participating in the promise of God is faith, not anymore based on racial 
association but rather our association with God, with Jesus, through faith. Our opening of our hearts, of ourselves to God, to His grace. And that makes us all equal before God. No more distinction between Jews and pagans. The possibility now with Jesus Christ saving us, saving everybody who has faith in Him. So the new criterion of affiliation to Christ, to God, is this, faith. And it was precisely of Abraham's faith that made him the model for all who wish to be counted as children of God. Thus, because of this, through Abraham, he became the father of many nations. Not only that, but all nations are blessed in him. So our affiliation with God through faith, as I've said, is not anymore due to whatever criteria of affinity, but rather by faith, opening for us the possibility, and not only, and this possibility is given to all. One of the things that uh, made Abraham with his faith is that he became a blessing to people, to many people, to all people. Men and women of faith, this is also our call that we become blessings like Abraham for others. Let us pray to our Father through the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary. For every prayer, let our response be, Father, bless us through the prayers of the, the Virgin Mary. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. That like Mary, the Church may ponder the mystery of God's life and love revealed in Christ and the events of our time. We pray. Father, Father bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary that nations may turn their weapons of war and mass destruction into tools of peace, we pray. Father, Father bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary, that in union with Mary, we may be constant in prayer and in seeking to fulfill God's plan for our salvation, we pray. Father, Father bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary, that through Mary's motherly care, the sick and the sorrowing may find healing and consolation, we pray. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary, that the faithful departed may enjoy the vision of everlasting life, we pray. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. And for our other personal intentions, and especially pray for the family of Father Don Dion Soriano, grieving for the death of his elder brother. May they find consolation in uh, God's mercy and goodness, and may, may his brother be received in heaven, we pray. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. Heavenly Father, we thank you 
for the rosary and the message of peace that Mary brings to our world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brave brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring, and so honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son as to be made worthy of his promises, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Fa Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this memorial of our Blessed Virgin Mary, for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you, heaven and virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim together worship with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fund of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those we pray for in this Mass. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only to say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that just as we proclaim in this sacrament the death and resurrection of your Son, so bring, being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus. Let us disturb and even claim many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to us to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength and their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Freinadenitz, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly reward. Amen. And may God Almighty bless you, your loved ones, your work, and your activities, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.